Hello and welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am he- I am here. I am Bree. I don't know why I always say I'm here. I'm here. And Bree, but I am Bree. <laughs> I'm here with my father, I, Gary. I am Gary. <laughs> my mother, Shelly. Hello there. And, and my I'm brother, Bryson. Bryson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today we are going to be chit-chatting about, of course, uh, any comments, suggestions, or, you know, fun stuff uh, posted on the Weekly Peak comment section down there. And, and then we're going to talk about some childhood memories, special and precious or funny. We're going to be t- ch- chatting about that. But before we get into anything, I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much. We had an influx of orders on our Spreadshirt shop, and we just want to say how much we appreciated that. It looked like the, the number one design was the hummingbird that sold, and we just, uh, just wanted to say how much we appreciate that. We hope you enjoy your products. Yeah, and there was an idea out there, too, where someone suggested on, on the canvas to actually have one of those and then send it out as, you know. Like a giveaway like thing. Like a giveaway thing. And I thought that was a great idea. I think we could do that with the company, with the canvas company, and then have it drop shipped to whoever. But I'm not quite sure what kind of a contest or what kind of a thing we would do. So if you have ideas for a contest or. More of a giveaway, probably a giveaway. not a contest. Oh, yeah, not a contest. I'm sorry. More You're of right. a giveaway thing. A giveaway, thing. yeah. Yeah, how we would do that, if you have any suggestions. Yeah, how, yeah. So what, the range is birth to 99, and then what? as far as people who can be eligible? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I suppose because there's no, it's a it's a product to probably be okay, but oh, pff, dad's over there pulling my <laughs> leg, and think, I'm trying to take it seriously. I don't think <laughs> uh, Patreon lets us do that. Do, do they? They I don't, don't let us do that. Patreon. Patreon. We'll do it through Patreon. Patreon doesn't yeah. like it very much, yeah. but we could do th- go, go through YouTube. Yeah, I think yeah, that just go through YouTube. YouTube yeah. in the comments, you, you like have random comments drawn, right? Something like that. Yeah. So sure. anyway, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you've like seen other YouTubers do it and you have this idea of how they did it, you know, just let us know because that would be something that we definitely, um, you know, we could give away three of them or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we could do something. <gasps> oh, bless you. Good one, Gare. Ah. Uh, just want you to know, he, he sneezed properly. Yes, I did. Right into my hand. Into his elbow. Into his elbow. It was into his elbow. Oh, no. That's not the elbow. It's oh, the, crook the elbow. The, the crook in the arm. The, the crook in the, the arm. arm. Yeah, that'd yeah, be yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah. Your elbow up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was very I've been sneezing into my it, elbow. It's actually what I use for deodorant. Isn't, isn't it impossible to lick your elbow? It's like impossible, isn't it? Because your length of your arm is too long. There's probably people who can do it because they're amazing. Just because you said you couldn't. You know what? Yeah, it's just probably. People are going to send pictures. I'm wrong on that now. How many people can Somebody's gonna, have like, elbow. somebody's gonna have one of There's those. There's the contest. Giraffe. If you can lick your elbow, <laughs> you know what? If you can lick your back, <laughs> I would be surprised. Ah, okay. For some reason, Moving the elbow on. is okay. The Moving back. Is okay, weird. now we have oh, now we've escalated sorry. to places we'd rather not be. Uh, this weekly sorry. peak, we had the door that we did with um, the outline of the hummingbird. Mm-hmm. We uh, had. Help me out here. I'm trying to remember. We. Uh, but we did. Garrett and Ellie worked on their aquaponics, aquaponics. system. They're getting really close to right. finishing that up. Put some water oh, it's in there. so right. cool, cool looking! That? I so love exciting. seeing the water it flowing awesome. through there. Yeah. And how clean the water looks! I it hope it stays cool. like that forever yeah. for him. I'm and sure that would be epic. They're going, yeah. It's so clean. <laughs> and Shay did the face masks. Yeah, Shay did the face masks. And then Bryson also fixed the, uh, Debbie's car as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. The that's water right. reservoir. That water that. reservoir was the weirdest looking thing. It, it you know so foreign. I've never had to Coming replace a water weird. reservoir from underneath the car, too. Yeah. Usually they're just right above a few bolts or whatever. You pull them it, right not out. Not even bolts. Then. Sometimes they just have little slippy slide Oh, yeah. Sometimes right they just like clip like in, in the truck. Too. Slip yeah. So uh, there that was really weird. Huge discussions in the comment section about how they how there was a group of mechanics that felt like those designers for cars should be required to be mechanics for a few years first before they go yeah. into designing to help mm. with that to help you know make it a little easier they a, you know they have more of an understanding of fixing you know them you know if we ever own a car company that is what we need to require from our, <laughs> you must Engineers. be a mechanic before you are yeah. Or you must yeah, have some experience. I thought that, that was kind field. of an well, interesting. I, idea I do have least. a story about that. Oh yeah, may I, sure. May yeah. I share a story? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, so um, <laughs> was that a snore? <laughs> it was. Did I said snort, and he snorted. I snorted. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, yeah, I had uh, back in my youth. Well, not too youthfulness. I was twenty, I guess, and uh, going to college, and I was taking um, classes in um, architectural design. <clears throat> drafting and so on. Art was kind of my deal, and I really liked uh, architecture. And so I started taking these things, and then I started working for Marcel Designs in Seattle. And uh, I was as a draftsman. Mm-hmm. And um, but what was so cool about that is about the same time I was doing that in the summers, 
I was building houses on crews, and then during the school years, I was working for a draftsman and having that opportunity to draw. So, you know, and design. Uh, there was some design work too, so it was kind of nice I got to do both. So th there were certain little things like um, what they call a bay, bay window pop-out in a house. Uh, some designers, were, you know, I'd get on site and I'm there building and we're laying plate and we're trying to figure out how are we going to get a four-foot window in this space. I mean, they call out a four-foot window in this pop-out. I mean, it's just not going to fit. Mm -hmm. you just got, you've got studs and you've got things in the way and king studs and trimmers and these things need to all fit in there before you can get the four-row window in. Mm -hmm. So it's a bummer and you so, can't just cut a window. Well, <laughs> I got an opportunity to call uh, my boss and say, you know, we can't get a four-row window in here. I know. I've built these things. It has mm -hmm. to be, you know, this particular section, It's got you got to give us at least two or three inches on either side to make that work. Mm -hmm. So those kinds of things are things that you wouldn't really know. Or we, well, you might know, but if you hadn't gone out there and built something, yeah, you may not know. You may not know. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. nice to be able to sit back and design something, but if you don't think about how it's built and the materials that got to go into it and those dimensions, then sometimes you can make simple mistakes like bay window pop outs. <laughs> and how many, you know, <clears throat> because the, the person that doesn't know that is the concrete guy who's putting the foundation in. Mm -hmm. He's going to build it to spec because that's what the spec says on the on the prints. Mm -hmm. So he builds it the way the designer builds it, and then the carpenter gets in there and goes, "This is not going to fit. Yeah. How are we going to do this?" Um, so there mm. are there are ways, but it meant a lot. Of, you know, I've built on situations where we've had to really hack up a corner just to get it to fit the flipping window. <laughs> so you know, and it's really that's just wood butchering and not right. Yeah. You know, you got to leave yourself plenty of room. It is interesting. I, I feel like designers. I feel like we 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 think really big too, and sometimes it doesn't quite match reality. There but you have it's your world; it's your yeah. piece of paper. You can put whatever you want your on designer. it. And then, you know, I can see how that could be a problem for real things. You got to build. The, go ahead. This Fred. reminds me of a designer issue that happened. They were trying to make you know the sides of the roads when you run into the sides of the roads they buzz, they let you know. Yeah. The, the little buzzing things on the sides. Mm -hmm. Well, they they were trying to design one that played a song. Yeah, the musical tune. highways. Musical highway, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> well, they, yeah. They, they got everything right. They got it all in place. And they had a miscommunication between metric and standard. And that, that didn't calculate out right. Oh. And the distance wasn't right. And it was off tune. The whole song. It oh. plays oh. So as you then they, went, <laughs> they like They, like, rebuilt it again. And they it had, like, the same issue. It was so silly. It needed it was, a car tune-up. It, it did. did. It needed it a tune-up. Let's yeah. be real. It was a yeah. brilliant <laughs> idea, but now it's just this <laughs> side of the highway just that's just sad. out of tune, not right. I think it's like actually in the. So you're supposed it's to. In the it's cement supposed to be too, as it? you're driving. You're was it like Jingle this. Bells? No, I think it was some <laughs> Beethoven song or something. Yeah. It was a symphony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it was that one. But exact one. I feel like it was something from the symphony. It would have to do how fast you were going or slow you were going. And that was another issue, too, that they were showing. The speed of 60. But you had to do 90 to make it work. Yeah. I love this road. <laughs> <laughs> Having more problems because everyone's trying to play the song. Yeah. Cops keep pulling, pulling them over. There's that musical thing. We easily got a ticket here. Or the cops like pretending to pull over someone just so they can listen to the music as they go down. Yeah. Why is he driving off the road? <laughs> He's got his lights on so he can get over the speed limit. He's got to get that song It'd going. be a bummer if that song trained people to go to sleep. Then he'd like, drive at that spot. <laughs> 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 It'd be a bummer. Yeah. La, la, la. So we had a couple of suggestions for the door. Uh, the first one was a comment, and I feel like I just really need to read it. In the, I was I wanted to get up onto the door to so that I could be looking down as I was outlining, but the sawhorses that were holding it up have seen better days. You know that those sawhorses are almost. 15 years old. Yeah. Okay. I can believe that yeah. because I was like, uh, I'm like readjusting them. And I tried, like I tried <laughs> my so weight for a couple of times ones, and I'm like, yeah. this is just not going to hold me. This is just, this hardly holds the door. So, um, hey, I, I have repaired them. 
a hundred times. I, I know. Mean, just... I've seen those. Mm-hmm. Been, I, I remember them well. I've like, uh, geez, they keep popping up. You think you yeah. tearing them down, but yeah. you just shore them up and on you go. But right. add another piece of plywood here, <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> Aaron Mason mm-hmm. uh, says, Bree, you had a nice strong beam above you. You could use a harness like Tom Cruise in, in Mission Impossible to dangle over the door. Easy mean harness. We're doing it, boys. We're doing it. Actually, that gives me a great idea. Oh, Have no. you ever seen those strings? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Have you ever seen those strings and the patterns they do with them where you swing them around and they, as they swing around, they yeah. draw mm. on, they can draw oh, yeah, really cool, so cool, unique yeah. patterns. That's cool. That's cool. Mm. Fill them with buckets with paint and then they push the bucket. Oh, yeah. 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 So those, cool. those are cool. The too. swinging is yeah. super cool. I wish that, that it would door. swing in the perfect look of a hummingbird, but unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to calculate all that out. Now, Jessica oh, Hankin uh, says that when you're doing large projects or mur- murals, <clears throat> a projector or transparency projector help tons. You just throw the image on the surface and then you adjust it to the size. And interestingly, that's genius. Yes, yes, that's a really good idea. And I have to say, when uh, when I was pregnant with Bree, um, I'm I'm not a an artist like you guys are. And that's exactly what I did. I borrowed a projector. I put it up on the wall, and we drew all kinds of things. You had a huge wall filled with fish. You hand drew a couple things on mm-hmm. there, didn't you? Get I did a some couple of the, the big, yeah, the big ones. items. And then I had a bunch of little, I don't know, star starfish and yeah, all fun. kinds of stuff. But we did that. It was through like a coloring book that we got, and then we, you know, you can get it on that transparency paper, and then it was just like a coloring book on the wall. That's so cool. I really, I want to do that next time because I I found, I probably won't do it for this one because this next door it won't work with. But I thought it would be interesting. The issue that I was having is I want to make it centered. I want the eye to be at a certain place, Uh. but I want it to look the same. And when you're doing this, if you just want to move the bird over a little more, sometimes you got to get drawing to see if you're centered or not. And so it's this, it just happened to work out this time, but I'm like, oh my gosh, can you imagine? Were you reaching for a mouse and trying to select the whole thing and shrink it down? I'm not a joke, but I was like, if only, (laughs) if only I could resize and move this thing. That's right. That's what I wanted to do. Is there a way, is there a more modern way we can do it Well, I think that there's projectors, I'll wager that you can hook up to your computer, your phone. And I think that you can get those little ones. And um, I I think... uh, um, I had they a do for your phone too. too. They've got your phone similar. screen. You can just glance to see if there was a specific. And, and then what you would do mentioned. is uh, now just so I can understand, you would take that image that you have on your phone that, that we were looking at in, on your phone, and you would project that image onto the. Is Through that how that like, would work? Uh, that's what I think. But I'll have to go That'd see. Cool. I would the technology's there. I can't imagine it not being a thing. It'd be cool if you could do that like really large scale, like for like crop circles. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Like from a drone or something, helicopter beaming oh, Bryson's down. Bryson's serious about it over there. <laughs> <laughs> Take the drone up at night. Get a tr- crop circle. Thank you, up Jessica, there. for that idea. <laughs> yeah, that was crop circle would be cool. I, I'm just gonna check to make sure here Look, if there's. Now we know how they did it in the olden days. They had drones. Uh, exactly. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. The yeah, Pharaoh. Sure. Pharaoh out there with his drone. He was up on top of the uh, pyramid <laughs> shooting a, an image down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can you do an animation or video of back then, and all of a sudden you have Pharaoh flying a drone looking down? <laughs> Move this over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I Move that you. over there. There really should be a whole, like, like comic thing where... You just take old scenarios and you mix it with modern equipment. <laughs> yeah. You know, so like, like that, Pharaoh's <laughs> yelling into a Bluetooth speaker, you know. <laughs> like the he, she, he, she. The, like how the how it should have ended, ended, but yeah. like how it should have historyed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it needs to be mixed perfect. modern and, and of the old And like you don't notice until <laughs> last minute that they're using something like, <laughs> yeah. like that. And it's like how all it the old history. technology, but like they're just modern. That would be interesting. That'd be a great, be kind of fun, yeah, right. fun twist to history. There's a new YouTube channel right there for you. And then you could have it like follow actual history so you're learning it as you go, really. You know but what, then I, I don't understand is that a little. What if they did have <laughs> technology? Yeah, like, what if they <laughs> did have up. technology? Wait a minute, didn't Pharaoh have? <laughs> I'm sure Pharaoh. I, my didn't teacher told me one day that Pharaoh had a, Drone. <laughs> yeah, he, did drone. he was out there on his uh, iPod listening, uh, grooving to tunes. I'm Jeez. sorry. What were you going to say, Brian? I was thinking, didn't, I mean, they could have had technology like that, and maybe it just deteriorates the technology that they I had. I don't know. It could just break down really fast. Uh, <laughs> no. That's, that's like, I don't think Apple was back then. Okay. But yeah, it's just the idea of plastics <laughs> last like 
forever. Well, well, well maybe they didn't down. have plastic. Maybe they had other materials. Maybe they wrapped materials. it in straw, Dad. Broke, Did you yeah. think about that? Maybe huh? they had wooden huh? phones. <laughs> what? My, my <laughs> phone phones. made out of straw. <laughs> there we go. Little roll, wooden phones, Rock Dad. and stone. Okay, I have to say that Willie1960 <clears throat> and a few others joined in to have a little fun with you, Gary, this time Uh-oh. around. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What he says, you I know, done. if Gary used his stomach for the, sh- the stain work... You could say he was abstaining. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. That is so there was good. more on that, on that yeah. thread, wasn't there? And then Lulu for him says, well, you tried. I think referring to the pun. Yeah. And then uh, Kaylee50 said, dad joke of the week right here, folks. Oh, yeah, baby. That was nice. <laughs> Inside of my own mind comes... The abs have to show for it to count. <laughs> <laughs> the bus bums thought that was really that funny. That was good. That is good. That and funny. Glenn Atkinson says that uh, you would get along well with Bree. Uh, yes, and I agreed with that. I was like, yes. Yes, yes. Glenn, you were right. Yes. Yes. That's, oh, that's great. That's good. Uh, none of uh, Bizor, Julie JT, says, excuse me, but where's a finished shot of Shay's car? LOL. And that's coming. It is coming. Yep. It's driving closer as the week progresses. Yep. <clears throat> Very good. Yeah, the thing is we couldn't do it this week because it takes like two weeks for that stuff to dry. And we yeah. have, uh, she Your has some um, decals high. that she's going to be putting on the sides of it. And she's also going to, th- remember that front part where the radio section is? Uh, she's going to go ahead and paint that section too. And we wanted to Interior. get um, the clear coat on before we peeled all that stuff off for her to actually get in the car to make those changes too so we were stuck uh, yep. with not doing anything until that drive mm-hmm. for sure so this, paint week, dry bit. this yeah. week we'll be able to do that yeah, yeah. for sure um are we I, I before i move us into other channels is there more comments that we wanted to make yeah m hopper um is commenting about uh really that that um she started might be a he um Started watching our channel. It's hard to I know. Do, I just they go just with they. M. I they? just go with they. Okay. Um, they said they had started watching um, a while back when we were doing the uh, earth bag bedrooms and then kind of continued to, to stay with us. Thank you for that. Um, and and um, they are asking, do you have any earth bag buildings in the future? Absolutely. Oh, is that segue Gary? That's dun, Gary. Dun, dun. <laughs> Nicely. <laughs> um, yes, we do. We have a <clears throat> we have a shop that we want to put together, and um, we have an existing uh, stru- couple of structures that we want to add on to each end, and then create a shop out of it. So I have uh, two two halves. Actually, I have a circle. I guess will be uh, our next. Um, our next one done. And then we're also going to be, and that's the shop. Yeah, and, and I'm sure if you've been watching with us, you remember the shop and the collapsing of the shop and the hoop barn. <laughs> yeah. um, and then we put in that other building. And, and if, if you remember, there's two buildings now sitting there. So those will actually be two of the sidewalls. And then we'll be uh, rounding both ends, basically, for one big mm-hmm. shop. And that that is actually in the works. As soon as we wrap up the kitchen, um, we're going to move out there. We <clears> want to <throat> make sure we wrap up everything in the kitchen because you know how it is when you start on a second project before you finish that first one, it's hard to get back. Yeah. So there's little things that we still want to finish in the kitchen, and we mm-hmm. and um, so we're, we're, we're working on those kind of behind the scenes. You don't see some of the things we're doing with drawer fixes and sink fixes tune and up. little things. You yeah, tune-ups. You're, tune not, up you're not seeing those things, but Gary's been on those for a few weeks now too, just doing those things. Looking at, uh, at this roof style in the shop too, um, since I have the two existing buildings there, I want to put a roof that goes across the two. <clears throat> and I've been looking at roof styles out there like I normally do when it's fun for projects to just to do a new kind of roof. I love mm-hmm. roofs. Mm-hmm. And roofs, roofs. I mean, people, roofs. People are like, roofs. is it a roof? Is it a roof <laughs> or a roof? What are you, a dog? <laughs> roof, roof, roof. Anyway, yes. As a matter of fact, we all dogs <laughs> love roofs. Let yeah. me tell you, yes. <laughs> they love it so much they say it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so th- the idea was to go with a gothic style uh, of roof that w- will go between the two buildings, and it'll have a little bit more height on it. Um, if you're familiar with some of the garden uh, gothic um, <clears throat> outdoor. That style, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. they use, and you can look it up. And but it has uh, just a couple one by fours and some two by six pieces in between, and making these quick little rafters. Um, I'm going to try that out. That is going to be fun. Be fun. Yeah, I am looking forward to that project. And, uh, and, and another thing we're going to do with this um, that we haven't done before is 
you know, we still have a little bit of bag material left over, but one thing that we've been wanting to do for a, a real long time, and I've been saving them, is uh, animal bags are pretty much the same material that those continuous bags are made out of. So we're going to try doing the animal bags that we've saved up over the years oh, and, and bagging with those to see how that works. If, if it doesn't, we'll just, you know, we'll just use the we'll bags swap we got, back. But, but we want to see if we can do that because that's something that a resource that we have access to all the time as, an, you know, we have animals around that, that we yeah, feed. A lot and, of those. Uh, it would be a nice to be able to reuse them in a really, uh, in a building material way. Yeah, and there's not too many walls that we're going to need to build. So even though, I mean, you, we need, if we were going to milk and make a huge one, we'd need a, a lot of them. Yeah. So even though we've built them up over the years, I think we'll have enough too for this job as well. It's a, it's a 24 foot diameter. So, and then it'll probably be 10 feet tall. Uh, we have to go all the way up to the rafters of the mm-hmm. of the two structures. So. Makes sense. And we had a discussion yesterday because um, we were talking about putting in a vacuum system in there because you know you got you got that in dusting and woodworking and all this stuff. And we were discussing is this an overkill or is this something that would be uh, necessary the, necessary to helpful. put in here? Would it be helpful? Would it save time in the future? Uh, would it, you know, we were going back and forth. What would it be reliable? Yeah. Yeah. Having dust a system collection. like that in there, dust collection. <clears throat> How much yeah, I think so. maintenance would it need? Uh, you know, we were going through a lot of ideas. And I started looking at some of the cyclone um, devices that they use for dust collection, and they're pretty amazing and expensive. Uh, they're little five horse motors with these large two foot impellers. And uh, it is, um, these systems are pretty cool. And I think that they'll they don't look. I mean, the only moving um, parts are the bearings on the on the impeller and the five horsepower, and that's it. That's the only working so parts. Another thing that just dawned on me is pressure controlling this building. Are we yeah, going to do that? We may be. Well, yeah, we may have to do some because I mean, if we have a control. vacuum and that oh. air goes out, air has to come back into the building. Well, you have filters that actually filter air in to the like system. If it's filtered in and then. F- out and then it's out yeah okay so because like i know like with commercial buildings they have to control the air otherwise doors would be like (laughs) no yeah this is a system that is it recycles itself okay and uh that's more for air conditioning i think plus we're going to be putting the actual um, loud motors and stuff away in another building and piping so just right next, yeah, right next to us, you know. And, yeah, and that's yeah. one of the reasons why we want to know too uh, beforehand if we want to do this because it'll be built right into the floor as well. Is yeah, that correct. I want to put this into the floor. I've looked and looked and looked and looked. Do people, you know, I, I find that um, some folks will put their systems, the dust collection systems, in their shops. They put them in in an existing structure, a st- existing building where they haven't had a chance to build from scratch. And that means that you have these six-inch pipes running all over the place from down below, and you're stepping over them to up above, yeah. and you're they're cl- cluttered up in the air. So I thought if I put it in, in below the ground It'd in channels, you know, that we could so get to or small runs or something. I'm not sure yet how to do that. I had a thought on that, too. <coughs> like, if you have a hose like that and it's sucking stuff through it, wood chips and whatever else goes in there, um, what about static? How do they handle that? Yeah, it is a problem. If you can build up an electrical charge uh, and, you know, short up equipment and other things too. So, uh, so if you how ground, do they handle that? They ground them. They run like a ground wire through the entire thing? Well, yeah, several ground wires. Like all through the hosing? Is that how they well, do it, it isn't. If you, don't use, uh, if you don't use some of the neoprene type plastics, um, you don't have it as bad. But if you use metal, you just ground the metal. Oh, so it's six, in, yeah, six inch tubes. So are we going to do like a piping like for your chimney very similar but that's expensive chimney pipe is but the yeah. other six inch pipe is not so bad that they use for ducting oh um it's thin and it's it's, it's already used for that field too yeah. so yeah and it doesn't have to be it's not insulative all i want to do is carry sawdust material through it um uh, if it's lightweight okay. it doesn't have to hang heavy on the ceiling um so i'm thinking that that seems to be the best and then you just you just tape up your seams with that metal tape you know Oh, okay. So like you use for muffler tape. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, it'll yeah. be nice to have a system like this in a place that's going to be pretty dusty. So having a place, I think that we kind of all were thinking, having yeah. a place where we can put this sawdust out of the way quickly and easily, it, it just it just the more we talk about it, the more we discuss it, it just seems to make more and more sense, you know? Yeah, and, and then, then we, we also, too, can collect for yeah, gardens. that's what I'm and, thinking. Gardens, you, know, yeah. you can use that. Yeah. yeah, all the wood chips and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about, like, I guess... 
more the heavier metals, like if you're doing metalworking, you probably would sweep a lot of that up manually because I don't think it would vacuum up very nice. Metal shavings. Metal shavings will vacuum up nice too. But I don't so know. like It depends on what you want mixed want in with your in the sawdust. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think, think it'll matter. Other question is like too, I guess like with a, if we think about a vacuum hose, typically the actual hose part, because you were, you were wondering if you should do trenches or access channels yeah. in the building. Right. Um, <clears throat> and I was thinking about that. Like if you think about a vacuum, the only places it ever gets clogged is at ends, like at one end of it or the other end of it, like a normal vacuum you'd use for your house, right? Normally, it's not in the middle of the hose anywhere. So maybe we wouldn't need those access channels because it's just not logical you're going to get a jam in the middle of a hose. It's going to be at a Y joint mm -hmm. or it's going to be at the ends, mm -hmm. right, or at a corner. Yeah. So maybe we just make those access points at those corners. We don't actually. I got an idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm sorry. This isn't about the subject, though. Are we? Are Perfect. we Gucci? Oh, good. Great. Mom's We're been we trying to roll us along. <laughs> Bryson okay. and I can talk about this so for Eric, hours. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm like, uh-oh, 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 uh -oh, no. Well, good. what if? <laughs> now, Eric said, uh, just a suggestion. You guys should set up Shay's earth bag apartment uh, room. She probably he, he probably means for the podcast if she's okay with it. Hmm. It'll give you a better visual for video casting, and you could get set up as a lounge so you guys can get comfortable and talk and you hit the nail on the head which yes. is what we're planning to do we are planning to do we, that um, <laughs> we got a little set back on our timeline we wanted to do this sooner uh, because we're going to need to get furniture and we are deal seekers so we're going to be looking for fun <laughs> yeah. you know seekers. furniture yeah, we and we can't quite do that at the moment but we will do it soon too, I don't want to be comfortable. We want good chairs and stuff. You like to take a nap and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I yeah. had a thought. Yes, let's hear your thought. Okay. Um, if you watch streams, you'll know that like like Red Bull will sponsor a streamer or whatever, and they'll have a case of Red Bull in the background. We <laughs> love we love kombucha. We yeah. should contact the kombucha company and see if they want to sponsor the oh. podcast and have like a little cooler, you know, a little one of those ones that you can see inside yeah, of just kombucha that. and we'll just pull it out and drink it. There you go. During the podcast. And, and, I, anyway, there you go. That was. There you go. So you follow up on that one. Okay. Girl. Uh, go. What, what's the name go. of the company? I got you. I got you. If you're and, listening. Uh, by the way, I think it's kombucha. The kombucha. kombucha. I Where think it is. Come? We Bruce looked it up one time, oh. and I think that was what the pronunciation was. Did you say Cam? Was. I said Cam. Uh-oh. Yeah. Already, I blew it. No sponsorship. You can't say the sponsorship's name. That is that's yeah, it. That's that's it. More not not I can't even say the name of what the drink is, but just forget about it. You know, there's <laughs> another comment here, too, by Ashley Marks, who said that she was struck by each kid's willingness to do and try new experiments. And she feels like they had opportunities to try things out, fail, and redo as positive experiences. And, and I'm assuming you mean grow, growing up. And, you know, um, thank you, Ashley. Yeah, they were, um, when the kids were little, we chose to homeschool. <clears throat> and really the underlying theme of our homeschool was creativity in every every way, which way and form. And we really um, celebrated creativity. It's been something in our family since um was really this idea of when Gary and I, um, I came in with, a, um, I had a math degree in college, and, and so I was very uh, logical oriented, and, and Gary came in with a communications degree in artistic and musician, this kind of stuff, when we got married, and, and I had a good time in school, uh, and because I was very, my brain was very structured, like, like the school the room likes to be, mm -hmm. and Gary's brain was, he didn't like school so much because he wanted to think outside the box all the time. Yeah. And our theory was <laughs> is that we would have a mixture. How dare you teachers make <laughs> me think like you. <laughs> and our theory was. <laughs> that if um, if we would have we were going to have this combination of of um, all both types of kids uh, you know and so we decided that um, that homeschool environment would probably be the best for all kinds of learning styles and creativity being really important to be able to celebrate creativity because in a school setting you know you don't always get that um, and so that was that was the underlying theme. Of that and so and what was interesting is that I realized over the years that creativity even comes in in a structured yeah in a even structured even way. for me my creativity was growing and changing and 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 now when you know I was a I was a programmer um, when when your mm -hmm. dad and I first got married and then um, 
and then I realized that uh, you know, that kind of turned into editing, video editing, and all of a sudden creativity was really, I was realizing, wow, creativity is really in everything, even in very structured things, creativity shines through as well. Yeah, I mean, looking at programming, too, I mean, nobody programs the same way. I was even yeah. surprised as we were getting in, because I mean, we, you, you and Dad always made sure that we were exposed to as many things as possible, you know, to, to try to see what we were interested in, what we were enthusiastic about. You had this, you would have a bunch of things around us that we could try like musical instruments you know or mm-hmm. whatever and they would be like they'd be good instruments but they wouldn't be like super professional pro you know because it's you're just learning and you may not like There's it no you know and, the, and then so the, the, the deal was you'd get us the the starters for stuff and then if we really wanted to get into it then we would help then <clears> then we'd get we'd get those big pro stuff i love that because we we had the opportunity to try so many things and a lot of those things that we were interested in uh, work where you guys were fantastic with surprises and when it came to Christmas morning and and I recall as a kid you That's had right. gotten each of us a different instrument I believe it was for me I, I don't know what you guys got but I remember for me I got a mandolin and I remember at that point I had uh, I was really into drumming and then I got really into guitars and then when that mandolin came in I had so much fun learning that instrument it came with a little booklet which kind of is a diagram that i'm so used to, i was so used to those diagrams learning the guitar it was uh, easy to learn because of of that prior knowledge and it was so fun oh that was, was so that fun the same <laughs> christmas that uh for example i remember i got a uh, microscope and a telescope was that the same christmas or was that a different one no, they were themed. You would have had an instrument. Oh, I, I think you would have had yeah. an instrument okay. of some okay. kind. Okay. I don't. I, I, guess they I were think yours was a piano. Me. Was it a I piano? think you got a. I don't know if I was keyboard? Maybe a keyboard. Maybe keyboard or some sure. kind. Keyboard, and then, um, yeah, not a piano. Uh, if anything, it was probably a. Yeah. Yeah, and then, um, and then Garen, I know, got a, a an electric guitar because I think that's what he was really yeah. interested in getting into at the time. And oh, that was so much fun! I remember that really well. Some Christmas. I think it was just shortly after that we started up the band or something, or was it just before that? <sighs> I don't remember. I think we were doing the band a little bit before then. Uh, then Whew, that was a long time ago. It was, it was a while ago. We, we did a lot of performance, yeah. so much fun performing and learning. And, you know, when you're sitting and practicing, with it was you, Dad, and Garen, and we'd sit and practice for hours, you know, because we wanted to really nail that performance. And uh, you really got to learn, uh, you know, you got close to each other too. You know, it's like when you're working with each other, you, you learn more and more about, you know, each other as well so that was so much fun there was a lot of things that went on not only were we just kind of learning how to the instruments and the songs but the appreciation of the music and how the music was performed was more than just playing the notes or playing the right rhythms yeah <clears throat> you know it had a pocket it had a if you could find the pocket of the music and we all could rest in there those were the moments that i loved the most mm-hmm. because then we were all together making music yeah and uh and each one of you were feeling um whatever it is you were doing and you communicated those feelings through the music i also felt that and um to this day uh, Mm -hmm. i still get a huge kick out of playing music and then entering into the feeling of what is being communicated and I'm sure the audiences feel the same way. Yeah. But uh, but for me, it's like, yeah, <laughs> all right, we're in the pocket, mm-hmm. you know. And that's that's so cool. And you guys were great musicians. You still are. Thanks, Dan. Uh, dang. Uh, but uh, yeah. you're still great musicians. And the other part of that too, as far as the homeschooling element of that too, when the kids are playing, they're still um, in in school at that mm-hmm. time. Is also you know trying to find gigs, and some of those were even paying gigs. Oh yeah. Which was kind of fun because they wouldn't pay a lot, but then the kids would get you know twenty bucks in their pocket or whatever. Yeah. With the split was I can't yeah. remember how much you guys would get but um so it was also That's this fun. concept of you know getting good at something practicing and then going out and playing um, and uh, you know no disrespect to the schools but you have performances all the time yep. and parents can pay a lot of money to get into those performances and the kids don't get a dime and it's it's just the way the system yeah, works and it it's fine i mean we do things for charity and and we did a and lot of band cool. stuff for charity as well but then there are times you get paid for what you do and um i think that was a good learning part of it too and i remember brie why don't you tell your story about your one friend um when you went to her concert at the school oh okay yeah okay so so we're we're homeschooled so the structure is you you work and you get paid for the work if 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 it's a paying gig like that's that's the concept and we we grew up around that we just assume 
you know, if you're going to go out and perform, now you're going to get paid for it, right? And um, and I remember our neighbor, she went off and, and she did a lovely performance at her school. And I was asking, oh, how much do you make for something like that, you know? And and, you're, and I think I, I was telling you, Mom, I was like, oh, how cool. What a wonderful money-making experience. We all buying a ticket, you know? I'm like, I'm, and then you're like, oh, no, sweetie, you, they don't make any money. I was like, what? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but they work so hard. Why don't they get paid for that? <laughs> but I remember as a kid not understanding that. <laughs> because, yeah, anyway. But, well, yeah. I think mm. a lot of us have had that opportunity to even just growing up uh, with – paying gigs and no paying gigs and, and a lot of times i got a chance i got a chance to do movie scores and some other things and uh in college and that was fun i mean i didn't get paid for my college gigs which were much were for the school yeah for you the know school. and yeah. the school made money and we played all over we went disneyland and all across the united states doing stuff but um but yeah we didn't make any money matter of fact it cost us money to do <laughs> those things we had to yeah. pay for our trip and so we had to pay for the privilege of doing that. But, you know, the winnings were not a lot. So it was just enough to keep things pretty even. You know? Yeah, pretty. Nobody really walked around in new cars. <laughs> you know, we were all doing our best. Yeah, yeah. But, <clears throat> yep. Yeah. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Did you have something you wanted to say, Bryce? And you looked like you were on the verge of participating, but then you had like, eye, stop. that look in his eye. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I didn't really ever do much band stuff. Did a little bit. Like I played the piano every now and then. It was mostly just, you know, Yeah, because you, you were pretty young. You were pretty young when we were Brie doing it. And, yeah, and Shay, too. It was you mostly just later. you guys. Well, you played the fair. I think yeah, you played the fair yeah, a couple yeah, times with us. We, 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 what we would do is you guys like to go off and play, and so it just seemed like mean to have you sit there with us. <laughs> yeah. And so we would, but we, we knew that you had some interest, so we would bring you in for a few songs, like for Shay. We That's started right, doing that more and more. And right. then by the time you guys were ready to probably do a full set, we ended up just, you know, just naturally we did going do, out of it a little bit. You we know, we did one big thing. We opened for a big band. Oh, and, that was so uh, fun in the city, and it was fun. That was fun mm-hmm. opening for them, and uh, that was probably the last big gig we did. <laughs> Once yeah. we finally got to the part of opening for somebody else, we stopped yeah. big really for us. playing. It was just like, local yeah. stuff, local yeah. stuff. Yeah. But it yeah. was fun. the biggest one we had. We had gotten. in our area mm-hmm. that was considered yeah. pretty big. So yeah. it was fun, fun to do that. But then we kind of slowed down and. Um, I think we started getting more into video at that point. I think we did. Yeah, and you know, yeah, and then yep. we have, a, you know, the rest of the kids are in different in- interests and things and like this. Too, interests. we end up going. Shay was into um, making costumes and Comic Con, and you know, mm-hmm. everything kind of Split. morphs and <laughs> changes. Yeah, and you were into three D printing and printing. other things as well. Was, so yeah. I still am a little bit. I love yeah. that. Feeling. I think I got started in underwater basket weaving or something <laughs> like yeah. that. Too. Yeah, you're excellent yeah. at that. By yeah, the way. Wow. Like How long can you hold your breath? You're not allowed to come up until you get your basket done. So <laughs> it'd be fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah so, it was fun. Mm-hmm. So a lot of really interests. fun memories. I still write on a daily basis, trying to keep my because I I love I've been writing music and songs since I was 13 and. And I've been trying to keep that muscle working and, and keep the, you know, staying loose when it comes to rhyming and, and you structuring a music for us and songs. Didn't you? Yeah, just, you know, little p- things to keep me in practice. So yeah, until fine. until the day arrives when we can really start applying those things, whenever they come, they'll come. I know you've got some musicals. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I started orchestrating those a little bit. Oh, but, so uh, those are some amazing so musicals. Fun. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And, you know, and the thing is, when you start, at least for me, because I found what I love, I think, in writing musicals, now I'm I'm trying to stay in practice, so I just want to write little onesie twosie song. They're just not the same. It's not the same exciting. I'm writing dialogue, and it's like going from doing short stories to a novel, and and so now I'm having to go back to short stories, and I'm only you only get a little bit of time with the characters you create, and so but with a musical, you've got an hour and a half to work oh, with, you know. That's so. true. <laughs> but, Good one. Uh, yeah. Anyway. That's <laughs> Not that, not that not that's here or there. Anyway. I hope eventually. Some, <laughs> I hope all those musicals eventually, we will we'll eventually get them done. Well, with the dialogue, amaz- I hope I get some to play musicals that Breeze wrote and is yeah. amazing. I hope I get to play oh, Uncle. No, thank you. Please save the Uncle song for me. That's oh, a, absolutely. That's he's kind of mean. I was when you said you want to do him. Character. I was like, oh, he's kind of mean. Yeah, but you know, that's sometimes it's the <laughs> it's the bad guy that's fun to do. You know, I mean, you don't have to be a bad guy to yeah. do bad guys, but. But they're rich with. Sometimes uh, it's a very nice person behind a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> they're rich with contrast, and mm-hmm. sometimes it's fun to portray that contrast. And there's some really good people that play bad people really yeah. well. <laughs> they play bad people really good. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, 
Who knew you had that? That's when you see the that's when you see the behind the scenes that it all comes together. And these are these are kind of things that we um, as we grow and as we uh, progress. We'll be reaching out when we get to the point where we can actually hire people. Yeah. Those kinds of things. We'll be hiring people to help us um, you create know, those fill those uh, those movies. And yeah, movies, and fiction. And, yeah, we've got we got a lot of big dreams. Hey, we're big <laughs> dreamers over here. We're big dreamers, but we know that right now we're focusing on what we can accomplish right now, and that's of course our weekly peak, which we adore doing. We're yes. yeah, I, I think it. it's like one of those things that. If you stopped, you'd still be doing it, and yeah. you just can't imagine yourself not doing it. Like it's just so a part of what you love doing, and you know the projects and filming those projects, and you know we love that. We love that we have to complete a project to get it out in the video. Like it's a wonderful goal setter and accomplisher as well. So it gives That's us one some, of the things we uh, so we love that. When we all had our own kind of channels. We were all still doing it, and then we're like. Well, why are we why all are we on our this? own here? Let's let's combine it. You know, let's bring it together. We're still doing it. We never stopped. We just put it all together in mm -hmm. one. Yeah, for sure. Although it was fun to see you guys have your own channels. Well, to me, it's I fun. thought that was how creative and re responsible for getting your own content out and everything it else. Does, I mean, it, that was cool. Drives you because you're like you got people, and if you're on a time schedule, you know you got to get that video out. You have to make that happen. It's not something you can just slack on. You know. It's something you have to make happen. Darn uh, you! You actually that, had to be responsible. <laughs> that is crazy. I know it really teaches you how to be on time with these things, be done with these projects. Yeah, Some of it, us are still learning that. You know, but the interesting thing about that is you didn't really have to. That's true. No. You, that you set that in your but own you, mind that you you had to. You, you get know? this impression. You know, it's like you got people who get reliant on watching these shows yeah. every week, and if you don't produce, they don't. People don't, you know, you want to, you, you want to fulfill you that be consistent. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to be very, you commit to the time. weekly because it's, 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 it's something that commitment. you define yourself. You're like, all right, yeah. a week, this day, a week, it's coming out. This and time. It's like this happen. goal you've set. And if you, oh man, if you don't miss it, it's like the end of the world. I For remember, me, at least I'm like, oh no. I remember <laughs> times because you do miss it every it, now and then it happens. happens. You try your best, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes you just can't. Um, and whenever that happens, it like, I remember it drove me insane. I could not believe I did not get that going. <laughs> believe i didn't get it out like it would just be like we don't feel that way it we drives do me crazy. talking about keeping you up at night oh i can't believe i oh, didn't man. get that out i'd be I, I go overnight i would pull overnighters to finish projects because i committed to a day i still do that you over for these podcasts <laughs> to get them out i will stay up late until it gets out yeah i don't think we've missed a week we missed the weekly peak when when uh gary went into the hospital yeah, yeah. we did that and that was because that was so unexpected and you know it's so funny um, is in the hospital too. It's amazing how the your life is, or my life is so scheduled, and you know doing all these things, and then all of a sudden something happens, and and like that, an emergency, is in, and and your whole world changes for that moment, and you just realize, you know, nothing really mattered except Gary yeah. getting well. Yeah. That's yeah. all that mattered all of a sudden, and um, I guess that's kind of obvious, but when you're really in that moment, it's like. I don't care. I don't care about all that stuff. I, he's got to, he's got to, yeah. he's got to live. <laughs> yeah. No matter what we have to do, he has to live. I'm not going, mo I'm not going on without him. That's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So those things that you think matter, you're like, eh, you got your priorities. You know? And it's funny. <laughs> it's funny too, because you think of these, you could imagine these like terrible scenarios, the worst scenario you could possibly imagine and it happens or something. Right. And it's like, it's really bad, but you deal with it in the moment. It yep. just, you deal with it. It's yeah. a natural, it just naturally you deal with it. It works yep. out. It just works out. So usually your imagination time later to fall apart, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. later and after the, but so usually your right. imagination is worse than the actual <laughs> event. of <it> happening. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, mm. I mean, I'm not saying yeah. it's we not can bad, get stuck but. in the what ifs too. I mean, those <laughs> what can if? be those can no, be. No, we don't do what ifs. Too. It's like there was that one movie line, but this could have happened. Yes, but it didn't. Yeah, but it could have. No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it, it didn't. Okay. That's the point. <laughs> it's always the worrying that is. It, yeah, it's more it's the worry. more time consuming than the actual yeah. when it happens. It's and like if you worry, you you suffer twice. You yeah, know? <laughs> and sometimes worrying can actually stop you from accomplishing something too. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I. I was just kind of learning to program. I would always be worried I wasn't programming it right. Well, 
good news, everyone. You're programming it right if you're programming at all. <laughs> <laughs> if something comes up on screen and it works, you did it right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you did it away, and that's right. You know, there's no other, you know, there's not a perfect way to do something when it comes to doing it. You just need to do it. Yeah, I remember. We do have a little project coming up where my machine actually needs a little update, and Bryce is like going, and I know what needs to be done, but I'm like, it's going to be work. It needs I to be need done. An upgrade. You know, we run all Hackintoshes here. And if you ever have a Hackintosh, you can't update. It's If you update your it's system, drawback. it is yeah, a bad drawback. thing. It, it, it took me, geez, six months to, to get, get the yours. last update <laughs> and through all of our systems. Too. Yeah. And to I had to rebuy hardware. I had to rebuy a ton of things to get stuff working. And it's, cause, cause it's like anyway, you just run into unexpected problems. I think constantly. what what it is is you upgraded all of us, and we went really fast. Oh, then you, yeah. you can- this is what this is what drives me insane. <laughs> I update everyone's, and it takes me like less than an hour to get everyone's computer updated or whatever for like each computer, and then I get to mine, and it takes me months to complete because yeah, it just you had hardware. Problems. That was weird. That's I was like, nightmare. Bryson, this is not normal. It this is just normal. a challenge. We it needed to normal. all be on the same version because we are moving to a server, yeah. and so we had to all be on the same version. And then here's what happens now. Now we want to do this um, weekly uh, video tips. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a couple written, and um, and Gary's been working on the storyline and, and the visuals that are going to go with that. And it's like, oh, we found this package online. Perfect. It has a lot of products and um, visuals, graphics yeah. and, and, and texting things Animations that Gary can use to, you, to, to fill this thing out. Awesome, right? But then you download it. It's just a plug-in into Final Cut, and oops, we got to upgrade in order for him to use it. Right. So then that starts a whole yeah. chain. And what yeah. is it? It's only a point. Work. It's a point, like one yeah. a, a off. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, okay, yeah, that's, that's no biggie. Nightmare. But in a Hackintosh, that could mean the difference of it working or not working. And it means yeah. a, an operating system upgrade, not just yeah, a Final that's Cut a Pro. Huge it's not just deal. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's but it's worth lot. it. Like, we're it's, like, oh, it's but like, it's worth okay, it. Okay, that then. plug-in cost us $30. Do we do this? Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's worth like, $30. Really. Uh, to me, it's like, okay, but uh, then look at how much we get. You know, we get to do a whole new series with it. You know, well, I'll like, be able to work twice as fast or even more. Even yeah, more. If the I, amount I'm, of time. I can do it the saver. other way. I can do this the other way. That's yeah. not a problem, but I do need the plug in. And what me. I'm be hoping, nice and this is what I'm absolutely hoping with this, I'm hoping that we can get to the newer version and we can still run older versions of Final Cut. So we can still be supportive with everyone running the older versions you know, and still have the newer one, there's, you know, going. You can't I, usually I, there's, downgrade projects, there's, but you should be able to run the final cut. There's programs I know that have do that now. I don't know. Apple, like, sometimes they don't work like you think, and then sometimes they do. So who knows? We'll have yeah. to just try. Final some. cut is not a standalone. It, it gets like a spider web into everything. And you can't yeah, final just move cut files moves around. along with the operating system. And I think they do that Very for optimizing related. purposes, yeah, I would which makes imagine. Sense, but, yeah. Which... It's really well optimized optimized for yeah, Mac. It is. Obviously, it doesn't run on anything else than a Mac <laughs> because it's built for a Mac. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? for sure. So. Yeah, it's good. Plus, it's, you know, it's always good to have a challenge, right? Challenges Actually, I'm like, it's challenging, Bryson, because if it was easy, you wouldn't learn anything. That's you wouldn't right. be leveling up your skill. You know, yeah. good after point, a Grace. certain point, you learn what components you need for a Hackintosh and you know not to stray from them. <laughs> you just know it won't work. <laughs> You've been I can think outside the box, but the if box it, won't work anywhere everything, else. <laughs> anything is possible with a Hackintosh. You can make any component work. It's just how hard do you want to work to make that work? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe yeah. one day we'll be able to get the, you know, yeah. the, the bigger machines and, you yeah. know, have, you know. You so learn. unaffordable like it is for yeah. us right now. Oh, gosh. I well, mean, we're well, working towards own, that, you know. Yeah, that's it's your goals. Too. If future. you buy a ready-made Mac from Apple, you know, no. you're going to get... ka -ching. It <laughs> updates are easy. You know, you don't have yeah. all the work behind yeah. that. It's but we don't dwell on those things <laughs> because we can't afford them. <laughs> that, could be a, that would really be something else. It's yeah. actually pretty amazing. There's, I bet you there's a good chunk of people who could actually run Apple, their operating system, on their device. They just, they just don't, don't know, know that they knows? could. But so. yeah, but then it takes it learning an entirely new skill. It does. So, it yeah. does. You, you take some, you give some, you know. <laughs> it does. But uh, I, I, honestly, I, I really like that 
that's where our family goes. Hey, you know, we can't really achieve this. We don't have the funds to do this, but, but let's see what we can do about it. You know, okay, we can't go out and spend a, an oodle huge amount of money on these yeah. great big computers. Let's put these two sticks and a rock together and <laughs> yeah. see what we can make out of it. Yeah, so how yeah. can we, like, look at it differently Try and achieve those things? Ways and you'd be surprised at how many things, things mm-hmm. you can get, mm-hmm. how many That's things amazing. that you can make, how amazing. many things that you can have that are unique or you know, and it just it just took a little bit of work, but that's all you needed. You know, it's yeah, amazing. It is amazing. It is just like, yeah, yeah. And like, it's, yeah. I mean, just like Hackintoshes, <laughs> for example. Like right now, all the equipment we're running is Hackintoshes, and it would be so expensive if we actually bought Max. <laughs> just be yeah. granted, they're beautiful computers, but it would be very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, but you wouldn't get the real pretty hardware like we got now. Yeah, I got my rainbow keyboard, okay? (laughs) Wait a minute, I got my glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark stuff in red. You do, you can get some pretty epic looking computers. I moved down to Shay's machine, so I got this pretty little headphone holder that's all green and lit up. A little RGB uh, headphone holder. (laughs) Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Cost us all six dollars to make. (laughs) (laughs) It's amazing how little things like that really Uh, (laughs) when you're like working on projects. I like I. When the RGB thing came out, I, I realized that some people really sent the RGB things. Oh, I yeah. say, have fun. Go crazy. Mm-hmm. I love that we can uh, make things colorful. That's yeah. my favorite. I Whenever like, you have color, it makes color. you smile. Yeah, yeah. that's color why we painted always. the walls down here, and we get to see an outside on the inside. You know? It really changes the mood. Yeah, it it's fun. bright and colorful and fun. You okay, maybe it worked better in a preschool room, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's and actually, you guys got monkeys hanging there. Oh yeah. On oh, thing, oh, do we? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, there's, a, there's a diamond yeah, sword Atlanta over there. I gave you guys those little Minecraft. monkeys. So oh, they're yeah. they're so yep, cute. They're they needed to. They needed to be in here. This yeah. is where they yeah. were meant to be. We they're got adorable. It, you know, Minecraft diamond sword hanging up there. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. have some fun, man. Let's no, embrace we're not the childish. fun in life. No. No. Heck, Are you no. kidding? Do you think little kids make those little games? I'll tell you something. Yeah, it's the adults that make those it's games. It's us that makes those games. <laughs> it's us that paints those walls. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we have fun. We have fun. Is there anything else that anybody want to add before we close out today? Anything? Well, we're okay. talking about memories. You wanted to do memories. Oh, have well, we already we done them? Into that again. We'll be here for another hour or two, it, it, so yes, we'll have to save that we for have, another. We have we, nine we minutes. I could do a ten-minute story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One memory. From well, Dad. I know for next week we're really excited. I'm excited to do the door and get the other one yeah. in there. Um, the difference is now with the first door that I did, the line work. I don't. I don't know what the specific names for these things, but the line work for the stained glass for the first doors all contained but for the next one we've incorporated your um what you've hollowed out Mm -hmm. into the design so that's going to be it'll be a little bit of a different process the Mm -hmm. same concepts but like the the i did the stem where the stem actually hollows out down the mountainside that we have there so it'll be connected to that and and go up so for yeah and keep in mind it's not real stained glass either oh no it'll be epoxy epoxy yeah mimicking I'm, mimicking and and there's so much of that out there it's so cool if you look up okay. on there you can see people making stained glass out of uh, the epoxy resin is is pretty cool what we're going to do too is uh, we're doing it in a way where we're uh, i know we've explained this in video but just briefly we do that black outline which is uh just a it's plastic, I think, is really all it is. It, it mimics the, well, the lead, but it's not lead. lead. Yeah, yeah, it's imitation. So uh, we do the outline, and then we create those, and that outline creates a bumper. And then that way, we only need, a, I think we only need a little bit of Eighth epoxy. Of yeah. yeah, inside, and we'll fill those in. And then we'll, I think you have to heat it up, so we'll do like an air gun, or a heat gun, excuse heat me, gun. over the top of it. Yeah, and it then, pulls out the bubbles and smooths Yeah, and you'll, you can imagine it'll be uneven. So we've left enough room so that we can fill clear on the top yep. of everything so it'll be it'll be the door will be one solid piece when it's done so i think it's we've really thought it out we've taken a long time to think about how we're going to do it and i do think it's going to work the we'll see we'll see we'll probably we always bump into some issues and we'll we'll figure them out when we get there yep. but yeah and then we'll be wrapping up um Hopefully, Shay's car. She's yeah. gonna come out tomorrow, I think, and we'll do the um, last bit on get it. Get right? the reveal. We'll get the tape and all that off of there, and be able put to the see, bumpers back on. Put all lights. that stuff back on. And you'll get fine. to see some of the decals she did on there too, which are just yeah. adorable, subtle but fun. Yeah. So, yeah. and then I think Garen and Ellie are. I'm, they're getting close to being done with that aquaponics. I don't know if um, 
Help they got it filled with water. I think they were going to start to uh, is it get plants? their beds. Hopefully that water stays that clear because that would be amazing. <laughs> well, Imagine well, having aquaponics and it's crystal clear like that. Yeah, it might take a little what adjustment kind of period. What kind filters do you have on out. there? I'm uh, thinking he, he yeah, and they'll be, be and I, I think they really have cool. to, there was some questions on how to get the chemicals out of the water and the sun, I think, is what we use to, to get the chlorine, chlorine out. out of One it. One day so out in the sun, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's what, yeah. well, and our sun especially is really good at that. Yeah, yeah I would imagine they got to cycle it for a few days. Yeah, so I'm not sure like where the where they are in their timeline because they do need some time just to let it sit. And yeah, we down. pretty much see it when you do. We we'll, we get it just maybe a day before you do, just yeah. enough to um, pop it into the video. So I, we are just as excited to see it yeah, as you are. may be. <laughs> we get to watch that I come together so fun. It's gonna they're gonna probably need to cycle it, and yeah, that might for a take a while. I don't know how long. I Garen's it, done some serious research yeah. on it. So I know when I did research, I think it was like a month. Ooh, gee, I don't think. But like, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't that. know. If, you know, here. we haven't, you want all the bacteria to develop mm -hmm. and. He yeah. said he was going to really start throw. throwing food in it here. <laughs> food. Soon. They throw uh, pneumonia in there. <laughs> yeah. And stuff too. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. 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 Food. Anyway, I don't know what his plan is yeah. or what he's going to use to cycle what, it. I don't know. But what did mom want? Oh, I was gonna? just going to say um, another thing that we're going to, I think will be on this this week's video. Shay uh, just got, she did some research on iPhones and discovered that the iPhone 8, eight I think it is, is 8 it Plus eight? or 8, plus eight. Um, has, an, has an excellent camera on it, even better than some of the newer ones. And so uh, she went out uh, on a hike and videoed some bees and bugs and it's, the shots are phenomenal and so we'll probably really be cool. using some of those for transitions oh, this, those make the this friday most fun. and uh, so just keep in mind awesome. when you're seeing that you're well, looking at an iphone 8 when you look at those yeah, it's so amazing to see like these little things you think nah tiny they, little cameras surely you're gonna need some massive thing that you have to put on your shoulder but it's amazing how much technology is in these things these yeah. days it's amazing they're cheap just keep and affordable going smaller you know? and they're going smaller I mean, for a and camera you can amazing. imagine okay used you might might be 300 bucks but that's like a 300 dollars camera that's good that's like now we've got it in context and like, it's a phone that's nothing you yeah. know and it's a smartphone at that matter you, know, you can run your business out of it too depending on what it is so. <laughs> and my whole business yeah. is just on my phone <laughs> yeah i feel in my edit i do everything on my phone <laughs> all right yeah so well and we might have backed up a little bit too because we picked up um a, a I believe it's called a C100, which is a Canon, Canon cinematic mm -hmm. uh, camera, and it doesn't it doesn't do 4K, which we don't really do 4K anyway. We bring stuff in 4K off the GoPros and anything that will do 4K, mm -hmm. and then we reduce it down. And well, so the camera actually takes in 4K, but it 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 compresses and throws it on the card. There's some bypass equipment you can get for the C100, uh, but uh, we used it this time, and mainly our main uh, reason for it is we needed an interview camera, and it has um, the regular mic plug-ins, you know, the full... The full, the full cannon. fledged, cannon. yeah. So you can get a, a professional mic and put it on there. We want to use it for, uh, especially um, the cancer video will be a lot of interview stuff, people talking about their experiences, and so we wanted. A, a, but um, interesting enough, um, it was just really. I thought it was <laughs> that the picture quality was really not very good. We used it when we were in, uh, there was a lot of that camera that we used when you were doing the artwork mm -hmm. on the, mm -hmm. the, and then of course the we used the GoPro. The GoPro was crystal clear, but then. When we went to this camera, when you were talking, it was really grainy. Well, it might be too that we it might need be a software lens. update, lens. We've got yeah. some other things, and we're still learning how to use the thing. Yeah, I think yeah. we need to. Yeah, we need to mess with it a little yeah, more. Yeah, because I've seen stuff on YouTube, and it's crystal clear images with this camera. Yeah. So I know yeah. we can get. We're just gonna have just to work with it a little. And more. I think we got an and issue with our lens, and we'll probably have <clears> to do some things I, there too. I don't know the already the color already. In my opinion, looks better, doesn't oh. it? I don't okay. know. I I, I be, think yeah. because like. Too, if we look at technically, if you film something in a higher resolution and then you compress it, yeah, the 1080 is still a higher resolution 1080 than if yeah, you filmed it, it in 1080. Yeah, it captures in 4K in itself actually yeah. takes it down to the 7. Like what so we you're going to have higher the quality yeah. 1080, so to speak. You know? yeah. yeah, that's well, the whole Mom does thing. a lot of work with the color too in post. Yeah, mom is good so. at that. You you didn't see it raw. True. I get a little that carried away true. sometimes. <laughs> it's like, whoa, that no, was maybe okay. a little bit too much saturation. Don't fall asleep. You'll wake <laughs> up with all brightness. That's in another thing that some big like studios do. They'll film in like almost a black and white, just as raw as they can possibly get it. And then they do all the compression afterwards to get phenomenal 
pictures. I'm sorry. I'm unscrupulous. I don't mean to be unscrupulous. But I, I don't am. know if that's the I've I've never, never word. seen that. Oh, you've never seen Inscrupulous? that? Inscrupulous? Scrupulous? It might be scrupulous. Scrupulous. Okay. You've never Scrupulous. seen that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe, we'll okay. maybe, no, maybe no, I'm wrong can, then. Maybe I'm wrong. Have you never seen Listen, that? Listen, I make up oh. words and, and then you're like, oh yeah, I can roll with that. You know what I meant. Oh, well, well, we did. I'm happy I guess, with made up words. Maybe, yeah. I, maybe I'm wrong then. I thought that's no, what I some know. studios did. I really don't know. I was being I was being Oh no, they do bring in raw footage. You're right. They bring in the raw to the raw, don't they? No, I think you're absolutely right. Like if you saw it raw, you'd be like, well, it looks I just heard the black and white and i was like no not oh sorry not black and i don't know if the raw needs to have some look, color doesn't it? it it looks a little washed out i think it's I've just seen. washed yeah is it, it washed depends out? on uh, your lens and your camera and, and the lighting and everything else i mean as we've hole. gotten better and better cameras where I'm, I'm doing less and less you know adjustments to it i mean garen and ellie okay. picked up a um you might have noticed that Pretty much, they got rid of their their Canon camera, and they're running completely off a of GoPro now and a mic, oh. which we're getting a lot of wind noise. But we would get wind noise anyway. But yeah. um, that is um, that footage is uh, I, I barely barely adjust that because that it's is beautiful. just it's beautiful you know footage, really uh, amazing. Beautiful. And I have to say this: I don't know why no one's made this yet, but some sort of device that when you're like a like a a repel, repel mic repel? where you don't have to match up the audio. The audio goes into the camera, yeah. like oh, a repel mic, that. wirelessly they connected to your camera. Many photographers have to have that. Yeah. That does that. Because yeah. then you wouldn't have to match the audio up. It's RF. Every you time. Yeah. yeah. But when you're working, we've thought about but lapel like built mics. into the camera. You buy mics for the, like, it's yeah, even have, the camera. They, they do even do our that. camera yeah. can do that. We can, we can, they the have si systems yeah. set up. But the thing is, is um, that when we're doing so much working, um, we've just decided a lapel mic would be just. Strikes. Crash, crash, crash bumps. Smash. Yeah, I just don't mm. think that's work for us. And we, we have to. Where's be, your mic? I don't know. It fell into the wall somewhere. <laughs> it's in the back building. It's about here. You can get it. So where's the so camera? Like I don't know. It's probably in the wall somewhere. It's still recording. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> you have a constant live stream of in the wall because that's all you can. Yeah, to you. the battery runs and out. And Garen constantly reminds us of we need a setup that is not so cumbersome that we're not going to be able to to do it. We have to have something we can do on, on the fly. fly. It has yeah. to be practical. Run and gun. You know, we're Run not going to we're not a studio to set up mics and lights just to make a couple cuts and a saw. You know, it's just. Yeah. That would be way over the top, and it wouldn't, we would stop doing it, really. Yeah. It we, just would be yeah, we don't fun. have a, you <laughs> it would know, be no fun. We don't have six cameras, one for each of us. So it's like, okay, you work on your project, and we'll go film on that. And then <laughs> yeah. you run over and film somebody else, and that yeah. person's over there on their project. And yeah, so we have to kind of plan out who's doing what. Yep. Like, okay, all right. Okay, you take it for half the day. I'll take it for half the day, yeah. and I'll, I'll help you with your project. You help me with mine, you know, kind yeah. of a deal, which is fine. It brings or, us together. Or when we're all that. together, it's kind of fun, too, on the yeah, same project. Like we have been on the car. Yeah, that's, that's, fun. Been that's fun. when you get the best footage because everybody's the camera's passing hands and everybody well, then we sees can be it funny too. Angle. It's hard to be funny when you're by yourself. <laughs> There's nothing funny about that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. stand by up, myself, sanding this car. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fun. I you can watch the particles <laughs> that I sand off fall to the ground. Yeah, slow motion. <laughs> slow motion. <laughs> anyway, well, in 4K. So <laughs> thank you so much for being with us. In case this is your first time, you're like. Who is my little homestead we post three videos a week um we do i like i'll start here with our friday show which is our big show that's our variety uh what we've done that week called the weekly peak and that comes out every friday evening and uh i mean we do all sorts of projects you know who anything under the sun doing. you just never just know from car fixes to building buildings to art who knows we're, we're all over the place it's a variety show right mm -hmm. right on and then um, on on Mondays, of course, this this podcast comes out uh, and it comes out on all platforms. We got it on the the, the, the uh, Spotify and iTunes podcasts are the two main ones, and then of course YouTube as well. And then on Wednesdays, we pull out full subjects, full uh, projects from the variety show, and we we all we clump them up together and we put those out on Wednesdays, and we call those recaps. And those vary from two minutes long to, you know, maybe an hour and a half if it's a big project that we do, which an hour and a half will be like, you know, our kitchen build or, you know, when we go out and do the cabin workshop build. or cabins and all kinds of stuff. We've released quite a few of those and we will continue to release those as we complete the bigger and projects. Those are for people who just like to look at a single subject. Yeah. You know, a variety show has so much in it. Sometimes you just want a single subject to look yeah. at. And that's what, that's for the people who like that. Yeah. And I know yeah. one of the big ones that's coming 
coming up and has been requested is Garen's Aqu- Garen and Ellie's aquaponic system. And when he finishes that, that will turn into a recap and that will go out as well. So, um, you know, yeah. if, if you want to see it again from start to finish or really, it's really made though if you just like the, the one subject at a time, at a time deal. So. Yeah, think about having... <laughs> Didn't they do one on such and such topic? You know, when you <laughs> yeah. got 400 episodes yeah, to go to through to, to find it. Out. Yeah, so yeah. Well, easier yeah. to It's kinda, nicer to have that. Yeah. But, um, More organized. And we've had requests, too, like um, maybe the wife is is wa- listening, you know, the weekly show, but the husband just wants to see. I've, we've one had thing. that request before. My husband just wants to see that project. You know, are you going to do the kitchen, for instance? Yes, we are. We'll put the kitchen in one project. So, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. one video. So, anyway. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, being a part of our family. And we look forward to hanging out with you on Wednesday for another recap. And then, of course, Friday when our when our variety show comes out, the weekly peak. Perfect. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a great week. You too.